What's up, everybody? Doug from Mojo Break back at you with another box preview 23 24 contenders basketball. Box is lighter over the last two years. Eight cards per pack, four packs. So a lot less cards than it used to be. I definitely recommend buying the box because two of the packs are going to have autos, two of the packs are not. Maybe not a huge difference this year because with Wemby, he could be in the non-autograph pack, obviously. Uh, Wemby does have all the parallels. Of course, no autos in Panini products, uh, but plenty of big autos to chase with the Thompson twins. There's also Steph Curry in the MVP contenders checklist, as well as Luka Doncic. So lots of chase there. Uh, you've got the cracked ice. You've got the optics. Uh, a fun, fun set. And we just talked about this on our podcast, which if you don't listen, we do the Mojo Break podcast live on Mojo Break Media or downloadable through any of your podcast networks. So if you want to hear more about the hobby, definitely tune in. We do it every week. We've done over 350 episodes. But enough promotion here for us. We want to see what's in the box. And once again, we're always giving away these cards. What I want to hear from you guys is who are you most excited about watching next year? Whether it be an incoming rookie, whether it be a vet you want to see turn it around. I want to see Zion next year. I'm hopeful. Yeah, that last game where he got hurt, but put up a 40-burger. Pelicans are on the rise. We'll be giving away some of those car these cards with your comments. And also, check the other videos to see if you've won. We are picking winners. So without further ado, two autographs. This is going to be breaking at mojobreak.com, so get your teams there. You can use code contender wins to save 12 percent off on any contenders basketball break on the website so all right let's see this is gonna be a short one so short and sweet like we always say all killer no filler so there's a rookie base this is what's going to add the most value here to uh contenders Especially if you get that uh, Webb and Yama there. So 249 on the Brandon Miller. So that's a decent one. Supernatural on the Shea Gilgis Alexander, SGA. Tyrese Halliburton. Sparkly. And then you got your base. Anthony Simons. Anthony Davis. Jimmy Buckets. Trey Trey and Macal Bridges. All right, almost better to go from the rear. Might have an autograph in this one, um, but I'm not going to go from the rear. Elite shots, Joel Embiid. Ooh, there's a nice LeBron superstar. That's a cool looking card. Let me see if I catch that in the light. Don't get a seizure watching that, but it does say superstar. Wow, look at that. It's messing up my camera. Ooh, lotto ticket, Webb and Yama. Okay. I am two for two on Wemby boxes on these previews. And an on-card rookie autograph. Man, beautiful design this year. Julian Phillips. Bulls rookie. Kyrie. James Harden. Can you imagine a team with James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and Luka? There would be no defense. The game would be 180 to 160 every, every game. James Harden. Jerace Walker. That's a rookie. So you can get some rookies in the middle there. And Desmond Bain. All right, so we got one of our autos. You got a Webby, Wemby. Lotto pick card. That's cool. Who's this? Numbered LaMelo Ball, the 149. First round tickets. Got a Tony P. Little Tony Parker. Lotto ticket of Brandon Miller. Brandon Ingram. Cam Whitmore, rookie. Jet Howard. Webb and Yama. Wow. Two for two, baby. Season ticket. These are sharp. 
I must say, I am very happy. I know it changed last year, but, you know, there's some value in the base. Prior to last year, the base cards just were just plain, and there was no value. There was no rookies. It was all vets. And Jordan Clarkson on the season ticket. Got a Keontae Johnson. Rookie of the Year contenders, Jerace Walker. Supernatural, Jet Howard. Ooh, and our auto is going to be numbered to 49. Keegan Murray on the contenders autographs. Sticker auto, a little off-center there on that sticker. Keegan Murray was put on on a Friday. 27 out of 49. Josh Giddy. Giannis. Brandon Miller. And a Markel Fultz. You know, with two Web and Yamas, these are retailing uh, around $350. One of the better values in the hobby, I must say. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about contenders? If you had $350, what would you buy? Would you buy contenders or would you buy something else? All right, that's another video for me. Appreciate you guys tuning in. And comment below. Somebody's going to win some of these cards. And uh, thank you guys. Hit that subscribe as well. And we'll be doing we'll do, be doing these videos every week. We also go live from this channel with our podcast, The Hype. And we do giveaways there as well. So check it out. Peace.